Hey, welcome to the Iron Horse Model Railroad. Today we're going to show you how we built this electrified removable workbench diorama from start to finish in a three-part series. Got about an hour and a half worth of footage. I can take this guy out in less than a minute, put it under this shelf, and then I can use my workbench too. I'm excited to show y'all how we did it. Let's get to work, everybody. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. All right, everybody, welcome. I hope I did an introduction, not from over here, but if I didn't, welcome to the video. I'm glad to have you here. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe, click the bell icon, all that good stuff. Today, we are going to cover up what my man Norm calls the plywood plateau, everybody. This is the plywood plateau, and we're going to cover this up because I'm getting tired of using this curtain and all that to cover up the wood when I'm doing uh, short shots. And I'd also like to have, you know, I've got this stuff right here, and they're too crowded in and everything, so I'd love to have some areas in here. So what we're going to have is a, a, kind of like a Rylandsville, Toland, and a Pine Cliff, I think it's Pine Cliff, Plain View or Pine Cliff area right here. Um, so there will be a few little neighborhoods. Um, we're going to get some um, input from you guys. Um, I will have one way or another, I'll have an opportunity for a train track to come in here. Not a passing, or I don't know exactly how I'll do it. It might actually be a passing. Um, but what I was thinking is I will have a track running through. I will have roads in here, and this will be a neighborhood kind of type looking area. Um, you know, maybe uh, a hardware store or something simple like that in there, here or there, but nothing major. Uh, mainly um, homes and that kind of thing. And we won't have too, too many of them. We'll have them kind of spaced appropriately. And we'll have roads through here uh, as well as one train track. At, and I don't know, I'm thinking that it'll come in and we'll talk about that later. But uh, so, so what I'm gonna do first in this video today mainly um, at the beginning is I'm going to be coming in and I'm going to do a plaster and a paper mache I'm going to do a line of plaster and paper mache at the bottom here up along the bottom I'm also going to do a dab or a line of plaster and paper mache at the edge here alright and so I've got those materials here all right now next down. what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna come in with a water and glue mixture and I'm going to um, mixture then I'm going to stick the paper towels to the, I'm going to stick the paper towels to the um, paper mache and plaster here and here so it's got something to adhere to. Then I'll walk away and I'll let it dry because it's in the glue mixture it should dry pretty hard. Then I'll come back in after that and I'll cover all that with an actual uh, layer of paper mache and plaster. Alright we're about to get to it. First thing I need to do is I'm gonna need something to stir with. I've got it. I'm going to need plaster. I've done this a couple times, so what I understand is that the plaster is optional, 
so I don't need to fuss and worry too much about my measurements because this pulp will actually dry hard by itself. Um, the plaster is just helps it firm. I like to use it. Um, makes it a little bit smoother too. There we go. All right. A handful of paper mache pulp is all I need right now. What I'm going to do is before I stir, I'm going to because I'm inside and I don't want to go outside because I don't want to take the camera or mess with the camera. I'm just gonna work this around gently so I don't stir up dust. <clears throat> you need to use a mask when working with this stuff. Like this, or a real one is better, because I don't think this works at all. But I am careful uh, because I wasn't wearing a mask and I didn't, I wasn't mixing a lot of it. I was just really careful that I got it all wet before I started stirring it. And that'll give me, that'll keep those dust particles down that are so bad for us.
And ladies and gentlemen, that's probably where I'm going to have to leave you until this has had an opportunity to dry. I'll be back soon. We got to let this dry before we can try to put plaster on it. But we can put plaster on the rest of it as long as we stay away from the wet stuff. So I mixed a good bit of product. It's gonna get a little messy. We'll let this dry, this dry, then we'll mix another one and we'll finish everywhere up. Thank you for watching. Hey, welcome back and good morning to everybody. Uh, we're almost dry and almost dry. It's stuck. So we got the uh, paper towels that were dipped in the plaster and the glue and they're dry now and so now that it's pretty good I'm going to go ahead and put the plaster on and match it up to the bottom.
All right, everybody, we'll be coming back to you soon because my uh, conductor, AJ, will be coming in here with the airbrush once this is dry and painting all this up, and we'll be filming that, and that'll be part of this video too. So as soon as this is dry, we'll be back with you. We'll be painting this surface, this color, so we okay. We have a darker mixture now. And I'll set this here. Alright, I'm going to do one more quick little bit of painting, um, and then I'm going to turn it over to AJ. Um, kind of want to give her an indication of where the roads will be, so she doesn't waste too much paint. Haha. <laughs>
Alright, AJ be here. Right, so we're gonna put the last of this brown down and when she gets here, she's gonna do some gray with the brush. She's gonna get to do a uh, a, a road. Um, just to, we'll see what it looks like. Um, we're gonna put a 3D printed road over the top. And we'll come back to you, everybody, with uh, AJ. She'll be doing the roads and adding some gray. We'll be trying to match these colors up a little better. AJ, everybody. Hello.
Alright, so... We have the roadway laid out roughly like this. Gonna come through here. Come through here, on into here, on into a tunnel here. Tunnel here, here, and over into your uh, Pine Cliff Crescent area. Alright, so we're in here and we'll be coming through here. And so what we're going to do in this video, this part of the video, is we're going to be laying down the uh, turf. We've got coarse turf that's going to go here and up on the rock face. And then fine, that's going to go on the flats. All right, so that's going to do it for part one, everybody. If you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends. Part two is going to come out just as quickly as I can get it rendered and out behind this one. I'm going to do it as fast as I can. I'm going to put them out as quickly as I can, everybody. So look for part two coming up in just a couple hours, everybody. This is Brian from the Iron Horse Model Railroad thanking you for watching part one with us. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, share this with your other modeling friends, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment below, please. That helps me with analytics. I sure would appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Let's go.